हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ट्रैवसिंग एंड टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रैवसिंग वॉट इज ट्रैवसिंग ट्रैवसिंग इज नथिंग बट लाइन्स ड्रॉन टू कनेक्ट ईच अदर टू फॉर्म अ ट्राइवस इज कैन बी ऑफ एनी शेप to overcome the particular obstacle or to complete a given task so if you can see in traversing there are two types of traverse one is open traverse and other is your closed traverse now in traversing it is nothing but a framework consist of connected lines as you can see a b c d there are the connected lines the length are measured by a chain or a tape for measuring lengths we can use chain or a tape measuring ab distance bc distance cd distance we can use chain or a tape and for measuring the directions or angles we have to use compass whether we can use prismatic compass or we can use surveyor compass hence the compass survey Direction of survey lines are determined with compass, and the length of the lines are measured with the chain or the tape. So this process of measuring chain or tape and the directions by using compass is known as traversing. Now, if we can see in these figures provided over here, there are two types of compass. As we can see in figure, there are two types of Traverse. One is one is your open traverse, and another is closed traverse. Now, where we use open traverse and where we use closed traverse. So, open traverse are used for your road works, highway, railway lines, where starting point and end point. do not coincide with each other this type of traverse are known as open traverse so here there is no end to this traverse we can continue traversing from your last point so it is generally used for metro lines highways then your bridge construction construction of railway lines in these cases we have to use open traversing while whenever we are doing a survey of a closed area or for the survey of buildings we have to use closed traverse so in closed traverse starting point a and the end point should coincide with each other that is known as closed traverse so while running a traverse we have to establish main station points from where we will control the whole survey process so these points are known as your control points or main points and the lines joining the points are known as your boundary lines so by using this lines and by calculating bearing with respect to your north by using prismatic or surveyor compass we can plot a traverse on a sheet and then we can compute the included angles as well as excluded angles if required so whenever we have to find out or do a survey of a particular building or particular close objects we have to use close traversing and we have to keep in mind that the starting point and end point should coincide when there is a difference between starting point and end point there is a error closing error which will be discussed in further topics so in open traversing we calculate deflection angles while in closed traverse we calculate interior angles so this is when another difference between them here we calculate what we calculate this deflection angle for example our survey 
is carried out from B to C. But because of some obstacle over here, we have to divert our part from C to C dash. So in this case, angle between C C dash is known as your deflection angle and deflection angle can be towards left or towards right. So likewise, we will be using open traversing or closed traversing depend upon the type of and requirement of your survey projects. Thank you.